Okay, guys. This would be going under. If you ever want to find this video for other purposes, would go under the analyze section. I'm analyzing myself. This is a 12 and 0 flawless game. He's an EMA. So analyze myself. See if there, I make any mistakes. Clear the sure, I do. Some like the average person. We got the bomb. I'm not any different than any of you guys. I just play Call of Duty and I make videos on Call of Duty. It's probably the only difference. Difference. Pre-aim to head glitch because they do get there pretty quick. We get here first though. Off offense. And a little bit longer. The reason why I'm waiting a little bit longer than usual is because hang on. If you look at the mini map, no teammates are with me. None of them. So it's smarter to wait and play it smart. The situation. I'm waiting to see if anyone's gonna push up out of there. I'm waiting. Place the bomb down now. Immediately after you get the bomb down, you need. I need to look the middle. The reason why I need to look the middle is because there's a high chance. There's not any right now, but there's a pretty good chance that someone's flanking through middle. I could just jump through this hut, come up, bam. You head glitch the bomb, put yourself like right here, and you can see the doorway. And also, really quickly, if you guys do not know, bomb placement does matter. The reason why I plant, I yeah, the reason why I planted the bomb right here is because I can cover it from a distance from this head glitch. I can see the bomb, or if I could, there's some teammates still alive. If there is, one could watch here, make sure none's coming up from middle. I could easily sit. Like right here and watch it. You can sit here and watch it. There's a lot of places you can cover this bomb site from. Bomb is on. Teammate picks up the kill. He gets killed by a Kuda. You're the last man standing. Give him props for using a Kuda. I used the M8 the entire game, so I'm sweating. I wasn't even really trying to go for the Wraith on my score streaks. I was just playing respawn last night. I heard him walking. And I wait. I d instead of pushing out for the kill, because I know he has an SMG, the CUDA will beat the M8 close range 9 times out of 10 because of it being an SMG. The M8 is a good long range rifle. And he almost killed me here. He hit and 4 bullets. How we do it. I one burst him. Round. I got lucky he hit the one burst, because that is a pretty close range gunfight. The CUDA should have honestly killed me. But you don't play your gun to its advantage. The M8 is a good long range rifle. Don't want to go super close range with the M8. The Kuda should have honestly killed me there. I don't know how on earth he didn't. Play, peek up top first because they get the up top first and they do down bottom on this side. Like ninety percent sure they do. Maybe I don't know. I don't play splash a lot. Peek, peek down bottom and peek up top just in case any side of rush you this way. After a while, about forty seconds. You don't wait 40 seconds, you wait till it says a minute 40 and then you're fine to push out. Yeah. Now, active. we're down. 5-6. If you're down like two players, you need to play a little slower. But because of the position we're in, I'm fine. Liquid. Kill him, pick up his sniper. See him up there, get that kill. Now the reason I picked up the sniper... And I pre-aimed up there instead of using the M8 and second up to this head glitch. Is because the SVG is better than the M8 at that distance. I can guarantee myself a one shot at the SVG against his M8. Then try to challenge an M8 that's aiming down on me from a distance. It's just a smarter and easier gunfight for me to win with the SVG. But I'm more confident with my SVG aim at that distance than if it was like a Locust. Hear him right there. Pick up the kill. Get the DPUs. Push us two off the hardened sentry. Guys, don't mess up. I want to say this really quickly. Don't goof off when you're defusing the bomb. Like, don't. Example, I killed this guy. Don't show off and start shooting his body because it's the. Because I've seen people and lose rounds goofing off. Get ready for the next round. And I've lost games for that. Just don't do it. If you want to show off, you can shoot him a couple times, sure. But if you have like, if you have like 40 seconds or something. If you have like 10, like I had 14 there, don't do it. Just get the DPS. Let's everybody else who's dead play more, and they really don't want to watch you shoot a body over and over again. Same as I did before, pre aim the head glitch. I have more teammates over here now, so I don't pre aim it as long. 
wasted. Okay. Pay attention, because there is two there, if you guys didn't notice. There was another player here. I don't know where he's going now. I saw him in the game, too, and then, like, I lost him. Where'd he go? Here he is. He backed up. This is a smart play. He saw me wreck his teammate. He backed up quick and got behind the car. I think he... I thought he was still back here. Let the teammate get the bomb down. Pick up his RK-5. Better close-range weapon. Call him to UAV. And most of their team, if you pay attention to the mini-map, most of their team is in the back. They're not really moving. They're not rushing. They're camping back in the spawn. I don't know what these two are doing, but they pr are probably honestly the reason why the bear team lost the game. I killed both of them here. They're camping back. They're not helping their team. I hear the one walking in the middle. That's the player that backed up originally. I should have reloaded here, but I didn't. I still get the kills, but I should have reloaded. Because I missed my burst. And he comes up, challenges, and gets one bursted down. Just make sure you have ammo in your clip there, and pay attention to your mini-map and know where they are. That's one thing I can't say. I've seen people lose rounds, or just get shot at from positions where they shouldn't have if they would have just watched the mini-map. This player, I know what he really was. We're sitting right here at 8-0. Team Pat 7185 is doing pretty well. Nice work, Black Ops. A high porcupine. Doing decent. The rest of the team, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Defend the objective. But we go back this way because you gotta keep the M8 at a good distance. I could go B. The reason why I'm not going B is because they get there first. What am I doing? Can I not? I don't know. I tried to bring it down to go towards B, but it didn't work. Theater mode in this game is kind of whack sometimes. But the gate, make it to their head glitch at B first, and I don't want to take a gunfight that I don't think I can win. And one of their players pushes out. It's one of the players that was goofing off in the back to spawn. I call in the Wraith, wide over B. Pick up his SMG for close range gunfights. If you can, make sure you pick up closer range weapons, or if you have like a SMG, try to pick up a rifle. It makes you more dirt, more versatile. Close and mid range. Or close and long range. It makes it easier for you to win. Rave's helping me get some kills, so is the sentry. I don't kill the last player, I went straight for the defuse because I'm confident that the Rave will cover me and the sentry. The M8 player that's right there, there really had no chance to win that because of, I had a Rave up and a hard sentry. But anyway, GG's to their team. Props to Pat7185, he's like level 25 or something, and a high porcupine. For not going severely negative, and peace. Guys, I hope this helped you in some way, shape, or form. Getting close to 50 subscribers. So, like, comment, subscribe, and peace.